Welcome back to the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty. I am Sim with Vengeance, and we are 1-3. Last time, we uh, did not look too good against Virginia Tech. But now that the out-of-conference gauntlet is over, uh, we have a chance to win some ball games now. Uh, we're 1-3, but we're looking for some bowl eligibility. And why not have a good start against a good team um, at home against the Miami of Ohio? Um, I know they haven't had a... a pretty good team in, in a few years since Ben Roethlisberger was there. They had a few good, decent teams, I guess, like, a few times, but this is our chance to win some games now, but now that we're heading into the conference schedule. So, we actually, good news as far as uh, recruiting is going, um, we are starting to get a lead on a lot of these players that uh, we didn't have leads on before, so um, I'm happy with the results that we're getting so far. A lot of these players that we're getting to are probably going to start like year one or even year two even, um, depending on how they develop. Um, I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. Uh, we're getting leads here and here and here and even players that we aren't even paying a whole lot of attention to, uh, we're taking leads on those guys as well. Um, granted, I think um, it's going to be kind of hard to get at least some quarterbacks. Or, Well, next year we'll have a better quarterback, but... Um, Marquardt will probably be the guy from next year, too. But it all depends. Like, we'll see how it goes. Um, I just know that right now, um, I'm happy with what the results that we've had um, as far as recruiting goes. But on the field, it's kind of a different story. I was kind of hoping, well, one and three was about what I expected. Um, the, w the fashion that we've gotten our butts kicked, though, is just, it it's something else. Like, I, this is kind of like what, UA, we, I did that with opponents when I played UAB, but um, it'll all it'll, it'll be a progression. You know, it's not gonna be something that we work on overnight. We're gonna take some losses, as expected. So let's get ready for that. So here's the top ten to start off. Uh, one through ten, we have uh, Oklahoma, Washington, Stanford, Mississippi State, Clemson, who took a loss earlier in the season, um, Miami, USC, South Carolina, Wisconsin, and Ohio State round out the top ten. 11 through 12 look like this. Michigan State, Virginia Tech, who lost to Georgia Tech. Um, wow, they're not even a... Well, they're only an 83 overall team. They just went to town on us. Um, Michigan, Georgia, UCF took a loss. Good. Uh, Florida, Auburn, LSU, uh, Penn State, and NC State round up 11 through 20. 21 through 25 are Oklahoma State, TCU, West Virginia, Texas A&M, and Purdue. Other receiving votes go to um, Georgia Tech, Kansas State, Northwestern, Iowa State, and Notre Dame. Nor Alabama's not even in the top 25. Alabama's not even in the top 25. What is going on? They're not even, what is going, this is this is fake news. I didn't even, I didn't even touch them, I swear to God. I'll even show you their overall. Uh, but looking at the conference standings here, uh, Ball State, Western Michigan are and uh, Central are all undefeated in conference. Uh, but Eastern Michigan and uh, is 3-1. and one. Uh, We're 1-3. and three. So is Northern Illinois. And uh, Toledo is also 1-4. So they're worse than us. Kent State 1-3. Bowling Green 2-2. Two two. Buffalo still undefeated. Um, they went undefeated all in out of conference play. That's impressive. They may run the table. If we play, do we play them? If we do, we're I think we're screwed. No, we don't. We're lucky. Ohio, uh, Miami of Ohio, who we play today. Akron and UMass all round out this uh, the conference standings. But look at the, the SEC. What is going on with Alabama? Alabama is 1-3. They've lost a lot. They started out 0-3. They haven't. They have not played well at all. They have a good chance to win against Georgia State today. But, man, they have looked bad in the past few, for three weeks. I think Nick Saban would be like, livid if that was the case. I mean, granted, they've only been outscored by a total of one point so far in the three losses that they have versus their one win. So, I, I don't know. You tell me why Alabama's one and three. But, anyway. Um, that's all I really have to go over with. Uh, Kirk Herbstreet does have us winning this game. I'm not sure what kind of drugs he's on, but okay, we'll take it. Both the offenses that we have are kind of lackluster. And, uh, you know, we're, we're both, I guess, sort of similar offensively and defensively. 
I mean, we gave up a lot of it in the past. Our pass defense is absolutely weak, but we've played a lot of good teams that have a lot of good pass offenses. Uh, so this is our actually worst team that we face yet. Um, we'll see how it goes today, though. Uh, first conference game in the MAC. I'll see you guys on the field. Wow, these bleachers are empty. We are bad, and they're letting us know about it. Hopefully, we can come out with a win today, though, so we can uh, at least get the fans at minds at ease that, hey, we're not that bad. Even though the overall says we're bad, uh, we aren't that bad of a football team. We can come out with a win today, guys. Let's do it. Oh, come the f*** on, dude. Stop fumbling the goddamn ball. First play screen pass, please. Yeah, just let him walk in the end zone. Why not? They were gonna score anyway. Also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Out of bounds. Steps out of bounds. Okay. He's scrambling. Quick strike to the receiver. Uh, we'll take a seven yard reception. I think we're going to go for that chance. Of course, Marquardt. They go to the ground game. Dude, come on! To the 20. Two plays! Two plays, that's all it's gonna take! Good God! It's second down. Hey, there we go. Finally. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. He's on the run. Tries to get around the corner. He's into the open field. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 41. Good awareness on that screen. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline. And I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. Oh, God, they caught a pass. It's a miracle. Dude, come on! I can't win! I cannot win! This is insane! Oh my god. Dude is unstoppable. None of these teams are good. In the grand scheme of things. None of these guys are good in the grand scheme of things. Twenty-one. Twenty-one to nothing in the first quarter. Kenny, the, Kenny Young is broken. Like this dude can't this guy can't be stopped. He's averaging like forty yards a carry. We have two turnovers in the first quarter. Both of them by Mark Court. He's terrible. He's gonna try and scramble. He's to the forty. He goes out of bounds. Gain of eighteen. They get three turnovers. Brought down around the 44 yard line. And it's not even gonna be close. Touchdown again. He's at the 20. Nope, not quite. He's taken down at the 12. Straight up the middle. He might not be able to get the pass off. Oh, we got one ourselves. Nice. Jesus. Better than this. We can tackle. We've done this. We've won a game. We're not terrible. Throws in a hurry. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. A quarterback. Touchdown again for Kenny Smith. For Kenny. 
Yep, it's going to be another touchdown. Kenny Young, 30 yards a carry. I can't stop him. He's un he's impossible to stop. All over, and your running backs are averaging over 30 yards a carry. So why even bother passing? Intercepted again. There we go. All you have to do is get more court to get a little pressure on it. That's all you gotta do. Put a little pressure on the quarterback and you got it. Safety. I don't even see the point, man. I really don't. So I haven't been able to do much off of their opportunities that they've been giving me. And he missed. He gets it up, and he hooked it left. Let's get him. Fires incomplete. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next Considering series. On the brink of a blowout. Oh look, it's Kenny Young. Who would have thought he got another first down on the ground? Three yard line. It's first down. Screen pass. Who would, have, who would have thought that one? Or an out route or something. Like, this game's already over. Beat the Miami of Ohio. We can't even beat Miami of Ohio, dude. This is how bad this game is, this team is. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Going deep. Wow, we got a 36-yard completion. Too bad it didn't lead to anything. Well, we got a third down at least. Hell no. Let's see if the momentum defensive stand carries over to their He scrambled. Well, we got something. Inside the 10. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. There we go. Finally. Something. I, I can't complain about getting on the board, at least. We're not going to get shut out today. Five wide. Makes the catch and look out. Down he goes. Right around the He's right there. Just give him the ball. He's going to get you 30 yards each time. Or even that, 10 yards there. Beat him. Don't go empty tray shotgun expecting something to happen or with the possibility of getting picked off. Like right there. I'll take that. We'll take whatever we can get. All right, we'll take that. Underneath throws work. I've been very bad at the run game, but when you're down by this much, I mean, what other options do you have? Dives forward, kept it himself. That's a good decision. Well, we got another one at least. I'm not saying the comeback's not going to happen. Completely honest, because they just their their play calling skills can be bad at times like this. Like they're passing the ball up by thirty. Huh. Fourth down again. There we go. Okay. Well, the running game's starting to pick up. The kick is up, and it sails. Uh, Thirty to sixteen. Dude, West Virginia. So 
an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Ooh, oh, that was decent coverage. Was there a flag? And they've got a one sure, and this one they'll be looking to double that. Nice catch. There we go. That's a momentum builder. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, outside. Oh, he's got the edge. Touchdown. Let's go. We've at least made it a game. That's all I can really say. We've made it a game. We, we've we come back pretty nicely so far. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let's go. Man, there's been a lot of turnovers this game. 30-23. Oh, we have some big room. Oh, we got room. We got room. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to get it. Oh, my God. No way. This isn't real. Well, his, his whole day has not been good. Oh, it's intercepted again. Stop. <laughs> oh, he's wide open. Come on. There you go. You just can't throw the ball away or anywhere near the defenders. <laughs> or fumble the ball. Don't fumble it. Oh, my God. Kick is up. 33-30. Third downs. It's funny because they always got their points on first and second. Maybe a one third down where they got something. Oh, he got out of bounds. Fourth down. This is it. Both quarterbacks have been awful today. I'm surprised they haven't. They've they've completely abandoned the run game. Incomplete. And that is your ball game. We complete the comeback. I didn't even think that was possible. I don't even know why Jamal Marquardt's the player of the game, but whatever. Um, he did have a really good all-purpose game, I guess, on the ground. But we had a lot of – there was a lot of turnovers this game. This game was ugly. Um, Miami just choked, I think. Like, they had – look at all this running game. I'll show you the stats and everything. But I think they just choked. And I'll show you guys in the game room here in a second. I'm going to explain here what's going on. So – uh, we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the stats room in the other room here. So I'll show you. I'll see you guys. All in right. A sec. So I usually normally don't do this. Um, show you guys the game stats here. So the scoring summary. Like it, it, it just looks like a complete choke job. They didn't score at all in the second half because they didn't run the ball. Well, they ran the ball and they were still effective with it, but it is. There was times there, and that, yeah, they had the fumble. But at the same time, looking at the trends of the game, like, they just, they passed it way too much. I didn't even do that well in the passing game. I still got sacked four times. And I, I ran the ball with some efficiency, yes. That's maybe a fact. I also fumbled. And... There was probably something that was going on, like, as, as my strategy changed in the second half. I, I had to start running the ball more. Like, design run plays. Because I was passing the ball way too much in the first half. We all know that. So, the fact that I, I changed it up a little bit. And yet, the, defensively, too, we had a lot of it good turnovers. Like, in the red zone, Miami had chances to make this at least 42 to nothing at half. In the first half, it could have been 42 to nothing. At least. They turn the ball over in the red zone a couple times. And, you know, stuff like that's going to come back to bite you. I missed the field goal at the end of the game. So, 
Uh, that didn't really matter towards the stat line or anything like that. But when your quarterback here isn't even that good, I mean, he's a pocket passer, sure, 83 overall. But he's only, you know, one touchdown, four interceptions. He did better than he did better than Marcourt, at least throwing the ball wise. He did, kinda. I mean, four interceptions is pretty bad. But he had a better completion percentage, so that's why. But they had look, they they had only 17 carries for a running back that at one point in the game was averaging over 20 yards at at 30 yards a carry. They completely abandoned him. He had two fumbles, and I think one of them was recovered by the, the offense. One of them he fumbled and came back. So one of them fumbles he lost. And that's on them. They didn't run the ball effectively. Oh, they ran the ball effectively, but they didn't run him. They didn't utilize him enough. In their passing game, they had a lot of drops. This guy had more drops than he did catches. Their passing game isn't that great. It's really not. And that's why I'm, I'm always saying play calling is key. They started out throwing the ball in the second half. They missed a field goal. I think that was from like like 50-ish yards away. So, yeah, he missed one from 50 yards away. Um, Yeah, he attempted one from 50-plus. So, it's always tough to make one from 50-plus. It's always like if you only got like a 50-50 chance of making it. So, you can't hold that against him from missing one from 50 plus. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. I mean, the interception sliders, yeah, they, they may be tuned down a little bit, but I still threw three interceptions. And I still threw for under 50% completion. So, knock on me for that for all you want. But, that's, that's what happens. When you have terrible play calling and you adjust to the play calls. And their their offense isn't even that good to begin with. So may, call it how you will. Call it how you may. Play calling matters in this game. And if I'm able to adjust to it. Then that just shows. You know how good I'm able to adjust. They ran screen passes and they we made stops. The defense was able to tackle at least a little bit in the second half. We got some, we made the right play calls on defense, and it, it ended up working in our favor. And when you pass the ball, and your passing offense isn't even that good to begin with, I mean, you kind of reap what you sow on that one, man. So, anyway, I hope you guys, you know, see this as a, you know, a good comeback. This, I obviously thought it was a great comeback. We, we. I had thought we had no chance. It was a tale of two halves, that's for sure. And we've seen this before from me. I mean, I did this with between Texas and Arkansas State and a couple of other games. Like, this isn't anything new. Comebacks on this on my channel are nothing new to me and nothing to you guys, new to you guys either. So, I hope this is, uh, you know, we, we, got, we came out with a win today and I'm proud of the team. I mean, obviously, we still have a lot of work to do to try and solidify ourselves and try and get ourselves to be bowl eligible. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. Until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. Peace out.